Hello, in today's webinar, we are going to cover billing for individual statements. In today's webinar, we'll cover individual statements, receipts, invoices, limited statements, and more options. Let's go to some setup options that will affect our statements. So set up account and account preferences. First option we have is balances don't subtract insurance estimates. This will cause estimated balances due to exclude estimated insurance payments. This is unchecked by default and the balance due in the account module and statements will include estimated insurance payments. If checked, balance due in the account module and statements will exclude estimated insurance payments, and the captions in the account module will actually be balance, which will be in bold red, insurance pending, after insurance, and patient estimated balance. The next option that we want to go over is invoices payments grid shows write-offs. This determines whether or not insurance write-offs are included in the payments grid on invoices. When checked, include insurance write-offs for procedures in the payments grid. Payment plan. Full and walkout statements show payment plan information in a payment plan's grid, depending on the payment plan logic. The amount due and balance on the statements may include payment plan amounts due. If you have further questions regarding payment plans, please click the link below. Now let's go to our account module. So we have the statement button here in the account module toolbar. Now if we click on statement, it will immediately print to the default printer. There is no print preview to that. And let's go ahead and show you how that will look. So here's my statement that has printed. When I double click into a statement in the account module, we get the statements window. And let's discuss this window a little bit. Everything is grayed out because I printed out that statement. Um, the date range was 8-22-21 to 10-6. This is in person because it was printed and automatically sent because again, it was printed. We can go ahead and either delete the statement if we made a mistake. We can print it again if need be. And again, this print button will print to the default statement or pr default printer. We may email this. And if we use the email button, this will open the email window with a PDF version of the statement receipt or invoice attached, and the default email message will be used. So just so that you can see how that will look. My apologies, this one's already been set, so we can't use the email button. We do have patient portal, which sends the statement to the patient's portal. And in order to do so, the following criteria must be met. The patient portal must be set up. The patient must have access to the patient portal. And in definitions, image categories, the statements category must have show in patient portal and statements selected. And we may also view this statement. So let's go ahead and click on that view button so that you may see what the walkout statement looks like. And today's date. Closing out of that, I'm going to go ahead and delete this statement as we'll be recreating this couple times more here. So going back to the statement button in our drop down menu here, we have a walkout statement. Again, this will go ahead and print out anything attached to today's date. So payments, procedures, adjustments, email. So if I clicked on the email, this generates a PDF attached to an email and the subject and body are automatically filled in based on billing defaults. 
but this can be edited before I send. Please remember, regular email is not a secure method of sending statements. And that's what this will look like. And from here, you have the option to send. I'm going to go ahead and delete since I am not sending that via email. Our next option is receipt. This immediately prints a receipt with today's payments. So we've printed that out. We can see it right here. We double click to view that. And as you can see, no payments done today, so nothing is displaying. So we're going to go ahead and delete that one. Next option is invoice. An invoice will be generated based on selected procedures and adjustments. A few things to keep in mind. When selecting invoice before selecting procedures, this will create an invoice for all procedures and payments for today unless superfamily billing is enabled. Once attached to an invoice, the same procedures and adjustments cannot be attached to a new invoice. Printed and email invoices are saved as PDFs in the patient account and imaging module, the statements image category. And to reprint, resend, or view, double click on the invoice number in the patient account. So let's go ahead and show you what that invoice will look like when we don't select any procedures beforehand. So invoice. Notice that it does give us an invoice. It has that checked and the invoice number, which is generated by Open Dental. We're going to go ahead and click View so that you can see what the invoice looks like. I didn't select any procedures, and this is the procedure that was done on today's date. So we close out and we delete. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and choose a couple procedures before creating our invoice, And we can go ahead and view that and notice that it is only those procedures which I have selected. From here, you do have the option to print it. Again, email. I'm going to go ahead and close out because from here I can print or email or patient por portal from, from here. We're going to go ahead and delete and move on to our next option. So our next options are limited and we have two options for creating limited statements. We have limited and limited custom. Limited only shows transactions associated with selected procedures, patient payment, insurance payment, and adjustments. If no procedures are selected, completed procedures from the current day will be automatically included. So let's go ahead and choose limited with nothing selected. It shows here that this is a limited statement. So this is our new window here. We do have an option for limited statements to exclude income transfers. This is specific to limited statements and you can check to exclude income transfers from appearing on the statement. We also have an option to include patient lasting, which you can go ahead and check if you'd like. Note, the include patient last name and exclude income transfers options are only available on unsent limited statements. These options, if checked, are not saved when the statement options window is closed without sending. So let's go ahead and view without those options. As, I, as you can see, it's here. We're going to go ahead and delete and go to our limited custom now. Limited custom. This will open up the limited statement select window to select procedures, patient payment, insurance payment, and adjustments. The limited statement select window will open, which is this is, and you can select your filters, then highlight the transactions to show, and click OK to continue to the statement window. So our filters, we can adjust the from and to date. So let's go ahead and adjust that because it defaults to the day's date. We have transaction types here, so we can highlight 
only those transaction types that we want to go ahead and show. We also have this Alt button to select all displayed procedures. We have the None button to deselect all procedures. I'm going to go ahead and click All to create this limited custom statement, and then we'll click OK. This brings us to the statement window. So FYI, the statement will not include aging or payment plan information. The total due insurance estimate and balance information is based on the items in the statement only. And so that we can view that limited custom statement, here's what that looks like. And it's only those procedures and anything attached to those procedures. We will go ahead and close out and delete. And then we have the more options. So this will show us a window. This is that window to let us customize a statement prior to sending or printing. We have the date range here, which includes transactions in this date range. And you can see that we have some easy little buttons to do just last 90 or 45. We also have an option here to show all transactions since zero or negative balance. You can see that we have hide payment options, so if you do not want to display the payment options that the office offers, we can do this as a single patient, we can intermingle family members, or I could go ahead and do a receipt. The note fields here are for you to go ahead and type a note on the statement. So this is a normal note, and this is our bold, and both of those will display on only this statement. So just to view the more options that we've selected, here's how that looks. And as you can see, there's my notes. We're gonna go ahead. And that was a brief overview of individual statements. Thank you for watching our webinar. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503 363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. Make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.